Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Martin for CardioSource Video News. Now, recently, the FDA just released new warnings on the use of gadolinium-based contrast agents. And here to discuss that with us is Dr. Christopher Kramer. Chris is actually the associate editor of Jack Imaging. Chris, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having so me. So I, I said these are new. Is this really new? Or? Well, it, it's, it's not necessarily a new warning. What they've done is a recommended labeling of all gadolinium-based contrast agents in regards to the risk of uh, nephrogenic systemic fibrosis in patients with stage four to five chronic kidney disease who receive these agents. And, and so, I mean, it, but it seems to me when I first heard about this, I thought we already knew about this. Is this, what's, what's the FDA warning really mean? Well, it's really just a, a change in requiring the labeling of the okay. drugs. They originally came out with a warning in December of 2006 was the initial right. warning in which they, it was recently recognized the association between nephrogenic systemic fibrosis, which is a rare uh, sclerosing disease, mm -hmm. uh, and associated with gadolinium in patients with severe chronic uh, renal disease. And it was found that in some patients with this disease that they had gadolinium in skin biopsies. And it was then recognized, the association. So in 2006, the FDA came out with a warning. And beginning it from that time point onward, those of us who use gadolinium began to avoid the use in patients uh, with a creatinine clearance less than 30, and also used the lowest dose possible, et cetera. Is, is this, excuse me for interrupting yeah. you, is this all gadolinium-based agents or just certain ones? Well, certainly the, the FDA has recommended the labeling of every agent that is uh, made with gadolinium okay. containing, even the more recent a uh, agents which may have uh, be, do a better job at chelating the gadolinium. The, what happens in renal failure is that the gadolinium circulates, it becomes unchelated, and it's unchelated gadolinium that is toxic to tissues. And that's why it's really a danger in patients with renal failure. You or I, we excrete it right away. And so uh, it, the older gadolinium-containing agents are not as uh, tightly chelated, and they may be at higher risk, but the FDA has said that any gadolinium-containing agent requires the warning. It's certainly uh, the older agents that have more of the cases associated with them. That may be because they've been around longer and used a right, lot more, right. but also it may be because they chelate gadolinium a little less tightly. So, so I'm, I'm familiar with uh, a chronic kidney disease, uh, chron chronic kidney failure, as we'll say. What about acute kidney uh, problems? They certainly recommend uh, avoiding the use in patients with acute uh, renal injury, hepatorenal syndrome, and, uh, because they too may be at risk. It, it turns out though there, there are no reported cases in patients with creatinine clearances of greater than 30. And the incidence of this disease has become almost negligible with a change in practice beginning in late 2006. So, so for our colleagues that are watching, when, if they want to get a gadolinium study, what do they need to know? They need to know the patient's creatinine clearance before they decide to administer gadolinium. And if the uh, creatinine clearance is over 30, even then to use the uh, lowest possible dose and, and avoid multiple doses. It's clear that it's a, a cumulative dose that okay. raises the risk. What about one final question? What if, in somebody who has a, a, a filtration rate of less than 30, but you really need the information, is it okay to use them in those patients? You can use them with the caveat that you need to dialyze the patient probably uh, once a day for the next two or three days. And uh, three successive dialysis uh, therapies can remove 97% of the gadolinium. Well, that's super, Chris. Thanks very much for uh, clarifying this for us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.